Woo. I love all the noises these guns make. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death or Above. Today, got a God Roll Guide for the Love and Death Grenade Launcher. Using a little bit right now live on the video for you guys to see. This is the uh, Dream Bane Grenade Launcher you get from the Essence of I Forgot What It Is. Hold on, I'll check. Wouldn't be a Death or Above video if you didn't check this. Essence of Insanity. So if you guys are wondering where to get this, you wait for the nightmare the insanity nightmare to be a pop-up here you get the the nightmare hunt insanity it's not up this week you can get it i think you can get it uh if you're doing the initial quest line because i think you run through it one time in the uh the main story if not correct me if i'm wrong but you wait for it to be up or if you've already unlocked it you can go down here to the lectern of enchantment and uh pick up that essence for the uh the phantasmal core phantasm core phantasmal is it phantasm or phantasmal where is it phantasmal core you uh you can get these you can get a couple of them on each character per week and uh pick up whichever one you want to as long as you've already unlocked it once and run through and get these uh these weapons at your leisure at your leisure it'll take you a little bit longer because you got to get phantasmal cores to do it but this is the love and death so what i like to do in my god roll guide videos is i'll take a look at a gun in destiny Show you my role, talk about the roles that you can get on it, which ones I like, which ones I think are good, what the god roles are, and which one I would pick if I could build one myself. So if that sounds like fun, let's get to it. So we'll start out with my role on Love and Death Grenade Launcher. This one's a little bit different. You don't get this one completed on the moon. You have to uh, get the, the essence of insanity, and then you go complete it in Gambit or Crucible or Strikes. You get the grenade launcher kills there. I would just equip the mountaintop, go do Strikes or something. Uh, or gambit and just have some fun with it but this is my love and death grenade launcher to the hive they are the same show them some love Eris morn it is an aggressive frame so it's a 150 rpm five of the mag i have not looked at what you can roll on this so i don't know if you can roll some crazy stuff hopefully you can that would be fun um you guys may know you may not know hold on we'll get there uh my roll confined launch counter mass high velocity rounds proximity grenades pulse monitor quick draw i like quick draw uh, handling masterwork. I would not consider this a god roll. I'll consider this just a middle of the road roll on the love and death grenade launcher. But let's take a look at what you can get. So, the love and death grenade launcher it is a legendary power grenade launcher. It's an aggressive frame. Uh, if we look at the stats right here weapon stats, stability, handling, reload speed, velocity, blast radius, RPM mag. Aim assist, weapon. none of these really, it tends left with bounce intensity of 50. None of these stats for a grenade launcher I really care about. Really, I just care about the RPM and the blast radius and the velocity. So you want high velocity, high blast radius, and fast RPM, obviously. But uh, it says there is a curated roll moving on down a little bit. You can get procs, range finder, rampage. I wouldn't worry too much about curated rolls on these weapons. I'm not sure if they can get those. Um, so let's go ahead and stroll on down here and take a look at the rolls that you can get. So... It's an aggressive frame you have the launch options you have the grenade options then you have the two perks that you can get and i see full court on there oh baby full court i'm excited so let's uh, go down to launch perks the barrel perks you can get volatile launch reduces handily reduces velocity increases blast radius that's nice i like a lot of velocity on a grenade launcher i've, I've read or have heard that velocity on a grenade launcher is a good thing so uh, next up, we have Confined Launch, which will give you stability, increase blast radius, decrease velocity. I don't like Confined Launch for that. Um, counter Mass increases stability, uh, decreases recoil, or you know benefits recoil, benefits handling. I'm going to start saying benefits and negates. I don't know, something like that. Counter Mass. Uh, then you have Hard Launch. I like Hard Launch. It gives you plus 15 on velocity, but you lose stability. You lose blast radius. But you like that velocity. Um, then we have linear compensator it gives you stability blast radius and velocity So that might be your best all-around linear compensator. It's gonna give you positives with no negatives You have quick launch which gives you handling and velocity and then you have smart drift control Which will give you stability velocity handling and recoil. Oh my gosh smart drift control. I didn't know you did so much Not a huge benefit to velocity and no blast radius buff there. So eh, I'm not too crazy about smart launch uh, smart drift control uh, quick launch may be your best bet or if you want to go blast radius, go linear compensator. I'm, I'm pretty sure hard launch is the best, though, because it gives you that huge velocity buff. Anybody else give you that huge velocity buff? I don't see a, a huge velocity increase like that. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. You definitely won't hard launch because of the, velo the velocity. The velociraptor there. Um, thermoplastic grenades. So we got the magazine perks. You got thermoplastic grenades to give you stability, velocity. Prox grenades will give you prox detonation when he gets near an enemy, but it's got to be real close. And you're losing blast radius there, so I'm saying no on that. Then we have the almighty spike grenades. They give you stability, but they also hit a lot harder if you get direct hits. So you definitely won't spike grenades. There's... Um, as far as grenade launcher goes, if it can roll spike on a 150, you won't spike. Um, I don't think they've nerfed that or changed anything there, other than... You, the reason it was so godly to get spike grenades in a grenade launcher is because you could get behind a well or get behind a rally barricade and just just spam them to death till the enemy was gone. Uh, now that you can't reload like that, it's a little bit different. You, wanna, you still want them, though. Still good. Uh, but, alloy casing, what does this do? Decreases stability, increases reload speed in a good way. Uh, augmented drum. I haven't really seen that one too much. Reload speed reduced. A reload speed increased, actually. Magazine size increased. And then you have high explosive ordnance, the one that masquerades as spike grenades because it looks so similar. I get excited when I see this when it's not spike grenades. Uh, high explosive ordnance plus or negative to the magazine, positive to the blast radius, positive to the velocity. Uh, weapons production are larger and travel faster. Okay. Increases blast radius. I like that. High velocity rounds. We'll give you plus 10 for velocity and plus 10 for reload speed. And then you have mini frags. It'll make your mag size a lot bigger, uh, decrease your reload speed, but then your blast radius is reduced. I don't, I don't like mini frags. Obviously, the, the winner by a long shot is spike grenades. You want spike grenades. If you don't get spike grenades, you want to retry. <laughs> spike grenades are so important right now. I wonder, I wonder if they'll bring a nerf anytime soon. Let me know in the comments if you've heard anything. All right, perk tree one, pulse monitor, auto reloads. Uh, when you're critically wounded, a part of the magazine, that could be decent. That could be decent on a grenade launcher. Moving target, uh, increased movement speed and target acquisition while aiming at the sights. Genesis, breaking a shield, fills the magazine from reserve. Uh, that's nice, that's nice. The energy weapon perk won't, won't matter on this because it's a heavy. Uh, threat detector, increased reload stability handling when in close proximity to enemies. That's probably going to be decent. Uh, range finder, I don't know what range finder does for a grenade launcher. Maybe the zoom, but I mean, a grenade is a grenade. Then you have field prep. Field prep's top tier uh, on a grenade because it gives you uh, more ammo reserves. Faster reload stow and ready when crouching too, if you use that. I would definitely, definitely go for field prep if you can get it. And then we have the final setup. Quick draw, full court, kill clip, ambitious assassin. All good perks. All solid perks here. You're not going to go wrong. Mine has quick draw. It's nice to have a quick draw on a grenade launcher because it's a heavy. It's usually pretty cumbersome. Uh, full court increases detonation damage. The projectile travels farther before exploding. So the farther away you are, the more damage the grenade does. That's awesome. Uh, kill clip is nice, uh, but you're only going to reload once or twice. So uh, it's probably the bottom of the barrel here. Ambitious Assassin is cool and because it overflows your next magazine on reload based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. And a grenade launcher, you can get a lot of people real fast. So if you're... You're mobbing it up and you get a lot of kills. Ambitious Assassin could be cool. So if I was going to build my perfect grenade launcher, it's pretty easy to figure out what I would do. I would definitely go hard launch. Then you go spike grenades. Then you go field prep. Don't doubt it. And then you're going to want to go full court. There's not much question in that. And this one has all of the ones. All of the different ones in each one of these columns. Hard launch is, is by, by far and away the best one here. Spike is by far and away the best one here. Um... Build prep's by far and away the best one here, and full court is very, very cool. So if you roll, if you roll a spike, field prep, full court, uh, love and death, let me know in the comments because I'll be very angry at you, but I'll still be a nice person to you. Uh, I'd love to see it. So what do you guys think? What's your role? What you got? Let me know in the comments. What do you want me to look at next? Do one of these God roll guides. We can talk about it, have some fun. I got to get back into the primaries and the secondaries because it is hard to get. Clips. It's hard to get video clips for these heavies. I'm going to uh, wrap this up real quick so I can not have to get more clips for this, but I'll probably just put up... Uh, if you see downtime in between the clips, it's because it's a heavy. You don't always have ammo for this, so I might just put up a, a gambit match or just a, uh, a lost sector or something. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more. Do these videos pretty much daily. And uh, check out the links in the descriptions. All sorts of fun stuff in there. But until then, until next time, I'm Death from Above, and I'll see you later. See you, bye.